Fire meant a lot to our ancient Aboriginal people. Not only did fire stick management control the land with our woody weeds and whatever, but fire stick was a very important part of the system here for so long. And smoke, of course, come into it. Where there's smoke, there's fire, as the old saying goes. Smoke played a very significant role in keeping mosquitoes, bushflies away. Spiritually, it took the bad spirits away. They had smoke signals, very similar to the North American Indians. And of course they had a technique, a special bush, we call it a midit bush, little bush, and it smokes like blazes. And they used to have kangaroo skins that would put over it and pull them away quick. And the different puffs of smoke meant their different messages. But you see, there was a method in the very small fires that they built, especially people that trekked further afield from their camps who had to get the bigger meat. They'd make a very small fire that a couple of them would get around it so they wouldn't give their position away to other tribal people. But when they got back to their camps, they had beautiful big bonfires going and whatever, because there was wood in abundance. Each clan had their own tribal way of fire stick management. But you see, you had lightning strikes. Some of those fires just burnt on miles and miles of frontage country. And so they just let them go. And they knew how to backburn. They'd backburn here. The wind would blow into the fire and backburn the other way. So they control the land like this. And when you burn this country off, even today, the moment the fires go across this country, you'll get a moisture that will come up from the topsoil and create a lawn-like feature over the landscape. This brought the animals back into those areas. So fire stick management was very, very important to our people.